Welcome everyone to Love Camp 2019. I am so excited about this. This is truly my most favorite week of the year. It really is. I mean, I had a prayer at one point in my life where I said, I just want to have women's camp every day. And the cool part about that is it happened. Like the magic of our asks is that when we ask, we can receive. And so I've created basically a business in life where I am playing and supporting women in creating more love in their life, creating the relationships they've always wanted, and, and just creating an overall space of um, comfort with themselves, a confidence and a, an awareness of who they are that is so potent that it's inevitable that their perfect person come. It's inevitable that opportunities show up. It's inevitable that um, your life expands because you're being more of you. So that's what we have here this week. And so this is the opening ceremony for Love Camp. And I guess it's probably more of an introduction, um, but we are going to have a time where we're doing a, a special practice at the end. So please, please, whatever you do, don't leave before the end because I really want to give you the opportunity to meet your camp counselor and to do some, um, to learn some of the practices that are part of the daily routine. And um, so I guess I should tell you who I am because some of you I don't know. <laughs> Um, my name is Macy. I also go by the Reverend Lunch Lady, and I am the founder of Big Happy Love and Love Muffin Coaching Programs. And, um, oops, I just lost you guys somewhere. Um, How'd you do it? Let's, oops, here we go. Um, so, so I have been doing this full time for the last six years, and, um, so what, you know, as we go, I'll be sharing more about, you know, the other things that I offer, but Love Camp is truly, if you allow it, if you receive it and you're here, so great, you know, you're here receiving it now, um, your life can change. And this is simply, okay, I say it's a five-day camp. It's really more than that. It's seven days because we have this day and then we have the five days of camp and then we have a closing ceremony. And then generally I will keep like doing stuff until the end of the year. Um, so, so what I want to invite for you um, this week is an, to engage. You know, you, you chose this and I know what it's like. There's so many things out there and there's so many things happening um, that it's easy to just kind of get caught up in that stuff. But if you choose to make this um, more of a priority for you and, and truly you can do this in, you know, 15 minutes a day minimum. And if you want to play longer, you will have many opportunities. And I am completely omnipresent <laughs> for the next seven days. So, um, so this week I am calling this about, what am I calling it? The theme is magic. So every day you're going to be able to receive a different aspect of magic that, um, is available to all of us, so no exceptions. There's no one that can't have what I'm offering. There's no one that can't um, actually play with this. Um, it's really powerful. Um, every day you'll have a new aspect of this magic, specifically around um, calling in your beloved 
And good news, <laughs> that can be used for anything. So um, for some of you, you may be in a relationship. For some of you, um, you may have other things you also want to call in. So whatever that is, you know, please know that, you know, this is a universal experience in that. So, oh, there's some more people who joined. Hi, so glad you're here. So, um, so the invitation is to really be able to be here and play and have so much fun. Oh, yay. Okay. I'm seeing some notes. I'm just looking. Okay. Um, so to be here and play and, you know, truly this is a choice. So it's a choice to show up here. It's a choice to um, click on the links each day for your, for your daily practice. It's a choice to do, um, to decide to experiment with the morning routine, which is probably like three minutes to do it. Um, and all of those things that I'm about to share with you even more. So I'm just so grateful you're here. You know, you all together, as we come together, we really create camp. So there is an aspect that I've created and there's an aspect that I've um, actually sort of sensed in the consciousness that is this year's love camp. So that's where it's kind of coming through. To share with you that's how i get the themes that's how i you know um decide what what we're doing every day and then there's this whole other universe of love camp that is available that just happens and it happens because you're here and you're engaging and you're meeting people and you're um you're sharing and you're leaning in and you're asking, and, and I promise that it, it's, it can be almost everything you've ever wanted. So, um, so, okay. So I want to do a couple little administrative things. So for any of you who are here and, um, because there's a lot of different ways you may have found this. Um, you definitely do want to make sure you signed up for Love Camp because that's how you're going to be informed of what's happening on a regular basis. And the other cool thing about signing up for Love Camp is that um, then you'll get the email notifications, but you'll also get like links to all of the classes. So say, you know, you do have a day where you're, not feeling well and you're in the camp infirmary <laughs> you can go back to the email and you'll have all the classes so so you know this doesn't you don't have to be completely on schedule there are some benefits to being on schedule um, um, for sure because for people who participate in all five days and this is on the honor system you participate in all five days you will be entered into the all camp raffle that will um where i'll be offering amazing gifts um at the end of camp and that'll be at the closing ceremony which will be a week from today so next sunday we'll have a closing ceremony i'll do the raffle um and we'll celebrate well it's just it's bring tissues bring tissues there's gonna be some tears. Um, it's hard to leave camp. It is. Um, so, okay, so I want to um, say, I'm actually, I'm gonna put a poll up. I wanna see if you all, I'm just gonna launch a poll. If you're on your computer, you can just check in. This is about your cabin. So if you don't know what cabin you're in, um, you, well, you can find out in a lot of different ways. I'm going to go over in a second, but I am just launching a poll so you can you can start. Um, I want to see how many people are from here from each cabin. And um, do we have anybody from the man? You're, I'm curious. 
I don't think we do. Okay. We, we have some honorary men at camp. Um, two. <laughs> One will be helping us out with Vesper. So, okay. I am going to open up our Love Camp manual. So you should have gotten that in the email. If you want to follow along that way, you can, but don't worry about that too much. I'm going to start walking through because I really want you to have a sense of, um, of what you need to know. Okay, so we'll start with the packing list. So you all are here. You're, you're, you may have already packed, but for some of you who haven't quite arrived at camp, I am wanting to highlight some of the things you want to bring. The first thing you want to bring is a sense of humor because this is about having fun. You know, this is a time of year when people can get really, really uptight. Um, I have a couple funny stories. Um, I'm going to save this. Um, but this is about having a playful and open attitude because this is where you can actually receive new possibilities for yourself in your life. And it really takes that kind of lightness. When we're contracted and we are like stressed out, there really is no space of allowance, of receiving in your body and in your consciousness because it's just so contracted. The second thing is you want to bring your imagination. There's actually a process that I will be using with the group a lot, which is called regenerating images and memory. And it's something that I've been um, studying for the past three years with the founder of it. Her name is Dr. Deb Sandella. And a lot of the practices, and in fact, in the entire love camp is, is um, kind of using this technology. Um, which is regenerating images and memory because we're using our imagination. We are in this virtual camp and we are in it truly experiencing it as if we're here um, at camp. So you're, you want to really um, bring your imagination. Wear are the camp colors? I, I don't know if you noticed, but um, I'm wearing the camp colors, which are red and green have fun with that. It's so funny. Like, I don't know, Love Camp has been, become such a like frenzy around the globe. I see red and green everywhere in the stores right now. Who know? Um, so every time you're out and about and you see, see the camp colors, just be like, yay, camp! You know? Because I think you'll see it. It looks like, Gail, are you wearing camp colors? Oh my gosh, you look great. I love it. Um, so, so yeah, you, you'll notice, you'll, you'll just be so into camp that at the grocery store, at the drug store, at pretty much every store, you're going to start seeing red and green, like it's some kind of crazy holiday or something. I don't know. Um, so really be, uh, let your body and mind go, yay! camp every time you see red and green okay um it's it changes everything i promise um so then okay what else do you need to bring so oh you know what i think it's nice to have some a journal a sketchbook crayons markers whatever you like to play with like have those handy because you never know when i'm gonna invite you to do something sort of crafty um because we will, we will go to the craft shop one day for sure. Um, and yeah, things like a cozy blanket, if you'd like to have that for, for meditating, it's nice when you, before you click, you know, go on the daily practice, you know, just have some cozies around you, you know, have that, close the door, give yourself space. Like I said, it's, you know, I attempt to keep it to about 10 minutes. I used to make it five minutes and then I expanded it to 10 minutes because I think we can handle 10 minutes um, a day for uh, life changing practice. And okay, you want to definitely bring some bug spray. Let me explain because there's going to be potentially, I don't want to set the stage that there will be, but 
you know, sometimes during the holidays, there's just things that just like irritate you, you know, and bug spray is just shh, like, if you notice something's like coming up and it's just like, oh, you know, how can you sort of cancel it out? You can just spray it with the bug spray or you can spray it around you. And this is a very all natural, um, you know, it's, it's not toxic. It's actually nurturing. So it's a very nurturing thing. Spray it around, create sort of this like, kind of like pig pen in the peanuts, this, you know, that cloud, but a nice one, like a sparkly one, like with pretty colors. Um, so yeah, squirt, squirt, there it goes. Um, so if you don't know your camp, your cabin assignment really quickly, if your first name, first name starts with a letter between A and I, you are a gorgeous gal. Yay! Type in the comments if you're a gorgeous gal. I know I did a poll already, but. And then if you are, if your first name starts with a letter between J and Q, you are a lovely lady. Yay! If you're a lovely lady, type in the chat, hashtag LL. Um, if you, if your first name starts between R and Z, you are smitten kitten. Yay! Hashtag smitten kitten. So, and if you are an honorary, honorary man at camp, then you're in the man year. So that's totally different. That's the first year we've done that. So I am going to go over now the daily schedule. Okay. And I'm going to share my screen for this one. Um, okay. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Who's excited for camp? Yay. Um, okay, so here we go. Really quick on the daily schedule, and then I'm going to kind of go through and with some details. So in the morning at camp, you will um, be invited to make your bed. This is actually a very simple thing, but it actually creates something really powerful in your being. So when you get up, make your bed. Um, and then we're going to do this thing called the love shower. So you're going to go into the camp spa and you're going to take your love shower, which, you know, in, on the planet, you know, there, there are showers where you use water. This is a metaphorical shower and, and, and basically a love shower is an experiential thing. So we're going to do that right now, just for a, a few seconds where you just close your eyes for a moment or, and you can do the standing and you don't even have to close your eyes. Actually, you can do whatever you want where you just open up your body and being, and you start perceiving and sensing love coming in from every single direction. So this is the kind of shower that's like, one of those showers in Las Vegas, probably, where they have the little spickety things, like from all different directions, like some of them where you're like, whoa, I didn't want to be squirted there. But anyway, you know, it's, it's like love energy coming from all different directions, bottom side, all over. Just feel yourself and really allow yourself to become even the vessel of love. So as it touches your skin, it soaks into your skin and moves throughout your whole blood stream. And this is critical for expanding your love vibe. So every day this week, starting tomorrow, you'll make your bed and you'll get up and you'll take your love shower. Is that an agreement? Are you in? Just raise your hand, type in the chat. Love showers for everyone. It's a powerful, energetic, expansive process. So much of the time, we think that love is way over there, or we think that love is coming from something else, or we think that, you know, we'll feel love when someone does this or when someone does that. No, this is actually something you get to create every day. Okay, I know there's so much happening in the chat, and, and I'm going to keep going for now. Then, and I'm going to teach you the worthiness press pledge, we're actually going to do this um, before we get off the call, I'm going to teach you the worthiness pledge, which is something that takes probably less than a minute. 
and you'll want to go to the flagpole and I'll I'll explain where everything is in a second you want to go to the flagpole and you're just gonna do this process which is called the worthiness pledge you know what let's do it now why aren't we doing it now we should do it now so um, so the worthiness pledge is a camp tradition um, something that I know a lot of campers um, who've been at camp have taken this and used it for the rest of the year. And I, I would really encourage it. In fact, I'm planting the seed right now. The worthiness pledge is something you can do for the rest of your life. So um, simply um, bringing your right hand up into a W. So when you do this, W stands for worthy, meaning you are worthy of love. You are worthy of love right now just by being human. I like to think of it as like the gift with purchase. Like it's just, oh, it just comes with you being who you are. So the worthiness and to remind us of that, we start here and then we bring that W to our heart. We're like, yes, I am worthy. You just bring it to your heart. And then you bring your other hand on top of that hand. And then, and I'm gonna scroll down so that you all can see it on your screen, because I actually have the worthiness pledge in here, right here, right here. Um, so the words for the worthiness pledge are, I am worthy of love. I choose love now 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 so you're going to want to say this out loud so here's how it goes in this position you'll say one line of it out loud then the second line you'll say in a whisper the third line you will say mentally in your head so that's just silent but you hear your voice in your head the next one is in a whisper again and then we're back to out loud and that's it that's the whole pledge so let's begin together on the count of three. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. Now in a whisper. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. Silent. whisper i am worthy of love i choose love now 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 and out loud again i am worthy of love i choose love now 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 feeling it receiving it allowing it to take over your whole body and being this sense of awareness of your worthiness, remembrance of your worthiness, feeling it in every cell of your being or, or just sensing and knowing this. Whew, yay, nice. How was that? And if you forget, there's a little clicky, linky dinky right there. So you can click on that and go watch it replay. But we're going to do it quite a bit. In the video, it says um, that we do it after every class. And um, I try to do that unless my class went a little long. But, um, but it is part of your morning routine anyway. So, um, okay. Let's see what people are saying. I'll check in with the chat. Yay. Right, we are definitely going to do the Love Camp song. Awesome. Yay. Okay. Great, everyone. Oh my gosh, so excited. Okay. So, yes, let's come back to the Love Camp song because this is also part of the morning routine, I think. You can make your bed while you're singing this song, I would think. Hold on, I have to move something. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's come back to the Love Camp song. So I want to teach you this. 
because it's so fun. Um, yay! Because is there such camp thing as camp without camp songs? Answer is no. So um, we have our own special camp song. So um, if you would like to sing with me for for campers who have been here before, and if you've been here before, say say what how many years you've been at camp. Um, camp has been happening for four. This is our fourth year, so. Some of you may have been here before. And the thing about Love Camp is whether you're, you know, creating a relationship or not, um, this is about community and fun and play and really uplifting yourself before you start that new year. And I'm telling you, when you're, you're coming from that space, so much more is possible. So, so, okay, here's our camp song. The lyrics are, Love camp where we find our beauty. When we know we're worry, worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. So um, let's sing it together. So it's going to seem weird because you guys are on mute and I'm not, but What's going to really make me feel happier is, is if I see your lips moving. So for those of you who are on screen, at least move your lips. Um, and we'll sing it a couple times so that you'll get it and the words are right in front of you. So that's great. So, okay. One, two, three. Love camp where we find our beauty. Actually, hold hands, everyone. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. Awesome. So let's sing it again. Let's sing it again all together. Really feel right now the connection of you with all your, your sisters at camp. This is an all camp experience. It doesn't matter what cabin you're in. You're here together and really sense in your consciousness, in your being, this circle of people. And if you're watching the replay, you're here too. So you're here with all of us. We're including everyone. So one, two, three. Love camp where we find our beauty. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. Once again, Love camp where we find our beauty. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. Yay! Okay, everyone. So I will have a recording of that for you. And um, keep singing it. Keep singing it. It's there to support you. So fun. Um, I'm just checking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see someone who was like, oh, I was in the wrong cabin. Yeah, that's that's totally okay you can you can you can just move your trunk over and if you need help let me know i'll have chef waffle or or carl um come over and help you out sweet okay all right so i am going to stop sharing for a moment and i'm curious to hear from any of you like what if you could have anything out of love camp, like what is it that you 
would like. And we'll just take a couple shares from people. Um, oh, yay. Hi, Natalie. I didn't see your face before. Um, so what, what, oh, hey, Amber. Um, who would like to just share, like, something that you're looking forward to or, or desiring? Um, I'd love to hear you share out loud, actually. So you can unmute yourself. Hey, Macy Macy. Hi. How are you doing, love? Good. <laughs> so good to see you. Well, what that, cabin are you in, first of all? Well, I'm in Lovely Ladies. I was trying to sneak into Gorgeous Gals, and there was a minute I was looking at Smitten Kittens, because I just was, yeah. I may yeah. end up. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> you definitely, I mean, let's just say, I mean, it's not like you can't visit other cabins, you know? It's. <laughs> well, you know, about a week. Yep. <laughs> you do have a week. Yep. So what could, what, if you can have anything out of Love Camp, what would it be? Hmm. I, I, 2020 feels like a big year. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm wanting is to really prepare myself for 2020, you know, loving, you know, really getting settled and loving myself so I can mm -hmm. bring in more love. And so I can feel more juiciness in my life too. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I so definitely it's, have an intention it's like an for that. Thing. It's not just about, it's not just about finding the one, although that's really, that would be really cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, it will be. So that's really good. I'm glad you shared that because tomorrow, so I'm just going to mention a little bit about our micro love adventures. That's what I call them. Tomorrow um, is the first one. And just so you all know, We'll be meeting down at the sports field. Don't panic, because look at me. I'm not sporty. So we're going down to the sports field because that's where the trampolines are, okay? And so we are going to do an amazingly fun thing on the trampolines. And our um, sports field director this year, which I haven't introduced him on the um, site yet, but I will introduce all staff. This is Carl Johnson. Um, he's taking a week off from his typical uh, work schedule, which is Carl Johnson insurance. And um, yeah, he, he's going to be down there making sure that everyone's safe. Um, the other thing, what is, what else do I need to tell you about Carl? Uh, oh, he's a sponsor of Love Camp. Yeah. Carl Johnson insurance sponsors Love Camp. Thank you, Carl, for sponsoring Love Camp because, you know, having that kind of assistance to, to, you know, get you the best foods, get you the best bunks, get you the best, you know, uh, water sports equipment. Cindy will attest to that is everything. So, okay. Next one, Gail, are you up for sharing? Yes. Okay. I what, am. If you could have anything out of love camp, I'm what would it be? A new fresh beginning. Guaranteed. Did I free? Yeah. Guaranteed. Good. Good. Yeah. Who else wants New to start beginning? Post in the chat if that's yours too, because as people are sharing, you know, this is, we're in love camp consciousness right now. So, you know, Gail is, you know, a speaker for many of us, many of us at camp right now. So thank I can you feel so it. much. Yeah, I, I feel it too. So thank you. Awesome. Who else would like to share out loud their thing? Is that Tara there? Hi. I'd like oh, more self-love. Okay. Love it. Definitely. So we're going to do that. That's, 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 that's an amazing ask. So just know as soon as you ask, you will receive it. So, um, and it, and it's just exciting. I mean, it's, it's exciting to see how things, um, show up and know that this, this constellation of campers is exactly the formula that you need to make that happen. So thank you for being here. I love that you're here. So fun. You're going to have fun in the craft shop too. 
Um, okay, who else would like to share or declare? You know, a declaration is super powerful. It, are people asking me in the comments? I'm not looking. Um, oh, Betsy says more ability to ask for what I want. Love that. Yes. So I encourage you to do that today. Today, like right now, just like, okay, what's something I want and say it out loud. Okay, awesome. Anybody else want to share out loud? Jean, you look like it. Okay, good. Uh, I'd like to focus on opening my heart more. I just feel like I've been a little bit closed off in the last few months and intensely focused on work and I'm just <laughs> out of balance. So I thought this program would be great to get me back into flow with I love my heart and love and opening up to love. Yes. Yeah, it really will. Yeah. And I'm so glad you're here and you're such a rock star in, in what you bring to the world and and thank you for that and i didn't finish saying this to natalie but the whole thing tomorrow at the sports field the trampoline time will be helpful for this okay i just want to give you that heads up um so don't miss tomorrow's activity um thank you for sharing anyone else okay you can put it in the comments it's always good to declare so i'm going to check into the manual we did the camp song we did the worthiness pledge so the daily micro love adventure so that's just going to be something where every day you'll receive the email with the daily practice and this is you know these are new every year so this is the kind of core of our magic creating for this time. So, you know, really everything that you're asking for will come through these practices, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then in the afternoons, okay, so let me see. So, so then now let's talk about the schedule in the, in the afternoon. So in the afternoon is what we call free time. So, in this time of year when things can get really kind of you know intense you know not only are we doing our jobs but you know we're probably coordinating you know different things for the holidays or or not and then that's annoying and then there's just such a different like cadence in the world that um it can it can start like really kind of eroding our vibe, you know, it can. I'm not saying definitely for everyone, but if you feel like that, that's one reason to really take free time seriously because free time gives you an opportunity to do something, another little five minute routine in the afternoon. You know, whether it's, you know, like what Jean was saying, like there's just like, you know, when are we, you know, pausing for ourselves? So it gives us a chance to pause for ourselves, whether it's a five minute nap or one of the many things that you will find in this section called free time over here in the book, which I have to find. Hold on. Yes. So there's a section called free time in your manual that includes a list of suggested activities. So you can go to the craft shop, you can go to the the meditation yoga studio on camp. You can head down to the waterfront and I'm gonna introduce um, our waterfront director, Cindy Clark, coming up here. Um, we're gonna have a, some special some special activities. Um, uh, Amber, our goddess from the Hawaiian Islands, will be um, also inviting us to play one day for a special free time activity and then um you know you can go to the nature hut there's a camp out there's archery archery is really amazing for those of you who really have this this desire to really bring in a strong intention i would definitely go to do the archery um practice um you know you'll want to look there's instructions so there's instructions within your manual 
Um, there's, there's always a dance party every afternoon. So anyone who wants to go dance. So there's a lot of things, let's just say. There's a, an amazing tapping routine. Um, it's called Happy Tappy. If you want to feel more worthy of love, there's a practice there that uses the emotional freedom technique, EFT, to help you expand into more of that. So you have access to all of this amazing stuff. If you love the worthiness pledge, which you will, um, you can do the worthiness pledge maxi super deluxe absorbent con queso, which is a longer version of the worthiness pledge. So you really kind of get like supercharged with it. It's really amazing. So um, that is a recorded version that you can access. So, you know, there's also this the ping pong. Ping pong at the program lodge is when you connect with a fellow camper and you just take a few minutes to, you know, message each other, maybe even jump on the phone and, and get to know another camper. That's pretty fun, huh? So, um, so, and then, yes, so lots of really amazing things. So I'm going to come back because I would like to also introduce our two, well, we have three. I don't think Carol's here. Is Carol here? Carol, if you're here, say hi. Um, no, she's not. Okay. So we have three, we have three returning campers who, um, have actually, with their enthusiasm, like earned a role as camp staff. So Cindy Clark, I'm gonna introduce her. She's gonna be at the waterfront. Yes. And she is known as, you know, her being on the planet. She is the, the master of the, she's the goddess of the water, you know? She's been seen on those like vroom vroom things, soaring through the air. Like, so I encourage any of you who are, who are working on creating more courage in your life or wanting to kind of take a big leap to um, engage with Cindy on, um, I think it's gonna be Tuesday afternoon, we're gonna have special waterfront activities where you can jump off the high dive. So that's something that, you know, is kind of an interesting metaphor, right? If you've ever done that before where you've been on a really high platform and jumped into the water, uh, well, my experience is it's terrifying. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I may not do it again, but like the metaphor of like jumping and landing in the water and knowing that at love camp, there's no end to the floaties, to the life preservers, to the expert level lifeguardness that Cindy is. So if you jump here, you will be safe. So this is a safe place to jump. So anyway, thank you, Cindy, for being that person and, and being set up at the waterfront. So if you, and if you want just more flow in your life, right, just go down and do a little of the you know, side, side swim, whatever that's called, or breaststroke. Oh, I love breaststroke. And we also have those little floaty things, the paddleboard things. So everything is there for you. Um, so we'll be, we'll invite you to use your imagination to have that kind of moment on Tuesday. And then um, on Wednesday, where's Amber? Amber, if you're here, say hello. Aloha. Aloha. So this is our Hawaiian goddess. Mm -hmm. And you know, the beauty of Hawaii for me and why I was so excited for Amber to be a part of camp is that Hawaii has its own energy of magic and miracles and love, right? Yes. So this will be a space um, we'll be playing with Wednesday afternoon. And really, once again, using your imagination to um, to give yourself a chance to maybe do some whole like shaking your hips and getting into your body and maybe crafting some beautiful flower lays to just mm -hmm. celebrate your beauty, celebrate your radiance. Yeah. 
you know? And on that day, you know what? Camp colors are not. Like, let's be the goddesses we were meant to be and just really feel the luxury of adorning ourselves. So that's why I cherish you um, being here. And I know it's early in the morning for you. So thank you for getting up before Reveille in Hawaii to do this. So awesome. And then our third um, special teacher is Carol, who's not here, but she, she is a real live unicorn wrangler, and she will be down at the stables um, near our unicorn pasture, and then on Friday, we're going to have an all camp, this is all camp, all camp, this isn't a free time, this is an all camp unicorn ride at the end of the day, so I'm super psyched about that, because guess what is a journey? Relationship, life, you know, everything is a journey and how much more fun can we have on this journey? So when you're on a sparkly unicorn and, and you're with other people and you're supported and you are, you know, able to get to a crossroads and know inside exactly what to do and know that even if you go down a path and it turns out to be a dead end that you can make a new choice. So this is the power we have at Love Camp is this choice and awareness and um, not feeling like you're doing everything wrong to come into a space of what is right about this today. And so I um, will be nurturing that that's, you know, I think I just sort of gave away the whole camp right there. But hey, no, let's practice it together. Um, so, okay, what am I doing now? Okay, so let's look and make sure I, so free time is up to you. I, you know, we'll be posting, hey, what are you doing for free time? And then I would say that's the moment to make a choice and say, you know what, what gift am I going to give myself today? What do I, what would feel really fun for me? So, okay, so a couple more things and then we need to talk serious. We're gonna have to talk serious because there are some strict camp rules I need to address and then we're gonna do, meet your counselor. So last thing I wanna say before we talk about the rules is that you being here is an opportunity to, to win some prizes. How great is that? Like camp is free already and then you can win some prizes. So. Um, so like I said, if you complete all five days of camp during this camp window, so before, before Saturday of next week, if you do all the things, and I don't care if you do all five on Friday, like it doesn't matter, like just complete them before Saturday, then you will be entered, your name will be put into a raffle in this hat that then you'll be, you know, you'll be able to win prizes. You know, usually there's like five, six prizes. So whether it's coaching, whether it's, you know, a, a tool or a thing, or whether it's, you know, unicorn salt and pepper shakers, I don't know yet. So it's going to be some really cool things to win. Um, so one, you want to complete all five days. The other way that you can be entered in is if you brought a friend and the friend is at camp. They have to actually be on the list and in the camp group um, to qualify. So, so please, it's not too late to invite friends because this is recorded. So please invite your, you know, anyone who you know could benefit from this. You know, it's, it's awesome. So, okay, let's talk about wicked strict camp rules. Okay, sisters, um, I'm going to share my screen so that you can see them and then I will post them in the group so that you, there's no confusion. We don't want confusion around rules. So, okay, wicked strict camp rules because you know what? I'm here to help you feel safe in love. And if there's danger and trauma and drama around, then it's gonna be really hard to receive. So. Some of the things that can be super dangerous are number one, there's no streaking in the woods. 
you know, if you're barefoot, if you're, if you're, you know, if your vagina is just right there, what if like pine needles shoot up in there? I, I know this is too graphic. I'm sorry. Cancel. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, no streaking. You know, there's also a couple men at camp. Um, Carl is, yes, he's a chihuahua, but he has, he is a very um, conservative Let's just say he, 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 he's, um, he's sensitive. Um, number two, no dance parties, loud talking, or barnyard noises after curfew. So, you know, curfew around 10 p.m., you know, we turn off the camp lights. Taps will happen before that. That's do 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 you'll, you'll hear that in your head probably right before you get ready for bed. Um, that's when things quiet down. So, you know, we will, you know, be, we have a security team out there making sure that everyone's quiet. So be quiet for everyone. Um, the third one is no disrespecting staff or writing on their faces while they're sleeping. Um, last year, Gary Green, may he rest in peace. He was, Gary Green was our, our on-camp chihuahua who was, uh, who was leading up the talent show, which I need to talk about. Oops, forgot. Um, he's no longer here. He, some campers pulled him up in the front carrier up the flagpole. So he was like, oh, and then he was swearing in Spanish. And, you know, it was a little bit um, painful and scary for him. And he was so grumpy for the rest of the time. So, you know, really try to respect the camp staff. Um, no leaving camp or visiting other camps. A couple years before this, uh, I, on the security camera, we saw a bunch of um, the gals from, I think it was lovely ladies, I don't know, maybe Smitten Kittens, I, maybe Gorgeous Gals, I'm not sure, but they were mooning the boys camp. So, you know, um, no, okay. Um, that breaks two rules, streaking and going to visit other camps. And then the fifth one is no crunching. You know that anyone else have this where you hear people chewing on something and it just makes you go like, oh, 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 oh. well, yeah, I find that, you know, yeah, I will admit it's a selfish one. It's, you know, probably some inner work that I need to do. Yeah, I, 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 I will own that. Um, but yeah, no crunching of food of any form, not limited to including pretzels, chips, crackers, popcorn, fingernails, pine noodles, roasted nuts. Okay. And then I repeat, no shenanigans. Failure to comply to wicked strict love camp rules will result in disciplinary action determined by camp director. That's me. So, oh, I see there's a lot of commenting and... So I'm going to stop share for a moment. What is happening out here? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Right. Okay. There's some, yeah, there's some past campers in denial. You know what? Security cameras don't lie, sisters. Um, anyway. Okay. So I forgot to mention Thursday. This is one of my favorite things about camp. And this is really about celebrating you. And Thursday is, you know, pretty much all day is called talent show and tell. We still will have our morning activity. You still want to do your morning routine and you still want to do a free time. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but all of those things are still open. Um, but on Thursday, this is the chance for you to share your talent. And that's why I like to call it talent show or tell. Because, you know, there's people out there like Tara, for example, an amazing artist um, who might want to post some pictures of art. Um, there's, there's a lot of artists in here, actually. Um, so, so you can do whatever you want. Um, things like, you know, last year we had a couple people who posted them singing a song. That was really cool. Someone... Um, shared a dance that they they did and it was really cool so really uh, you know 
I say share something. If you're going to share a video, keep it to like three, three or four minutes, something like that. Um, and, you know, and then feel free to post what it is you're celebrating about you. It may be something that you are truly wanting to cultivate in your life, like that you want to cultivate more courage and, you know, you post a picture of yourself that, you know, just by doing that is, is cultivating your courage. So this really is meant to be, um, it's not, it's non-competitive. This is really about everyone just being able to see the genius, the love genius that's in this group. And, you know, it's really fun to be seen. So, you know, why do you think I do this? You know, I love it. So, you know, get a chance, you know, think about it. Think about when, like, what, what would I like to share? You know, this isn't a place for, like, sales things, but, you know, um, but it is a place to show off your genius so that we can all go, oh, my God, that's so amazing. So, and no, there's no winner to it or anything like that. It's just basically posting in the group on that day becomes this whole, like, like bubbling of coolness. Um, so, so I like to tell you that ahead of time so that you can plan, you know, you can start rehearsing your dance moves or um, picking a song you want to share. So, or whatever, taking pictures of your art. So cool. Um, okay. So are we ready? Okay. I know we've been going for an hour, but this is now the time for us to have receive meeting your camp counselor, which is such a beautiful part of camp. So um, go ahead right now. And this practice is um, something that you can do with your eyes closed. You don't even have to though. Um, if you're comfortable closing your eyes, I do recommend it because it just kind of takes away other, other um, distractions. But just taking a moment right now to close your eyes and take a couple deep breaths as you arrive here at camp. And some of you have already gone into your cabins and set up and some of you are just arriving and wherever you are, it's perfect. And right now, I just want to welcome you to camp, welcome you and celebrate you for making this choice for yourself and, and really invite you to sense and perceive the energy that is present right now and throughout the week. Just sensing that space of possibility, that space that is nurturing your asks. It, that space that could actually actualize your asks, that contributes to it, that is that one choice, that next choice, that next choice, that continues to create your life in the way that your heart is inspired. So on the next breath, just following your breath inward, just following your breath as it moves inside your body and your being into this energy of the consciousness that is you, the consciousness that's connected to all beings, And as you're here, your imagination will guide you. So know right now that there's no right or wrong. You can't do this wrong. So as you're here within you, your imagination is going to bring you to meet your camp counselor. 
And this is that inner space of knowing that that virtual mentor, that one that is safe, loving, and powerful within and around you, that's always been here. And that's just gonna pop into your awareness. You may have an image of what your camp counselor looks like. It may show up as something in nature. It may just have an energy. Whatever you're aware of about your camp counselor will just begin to form in your awareness right now. You'll see it or sense it. And just as you're aware of that, you, as you put your focus on it, you will begin to notice more details about her or him or it or whatever it is. You'll notice more details and just noticing too what it feels like to have your camp counselor here ready to celebrate you support you and guide you this week because this is your counselor is here to 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 help you to have fun with you to laugh with you to cry with you if you get homesick to help you know what to do, to help you select your free time activities because she has some ideas. So whatever it is, you can always go to her so or him or whatever it is. So as you're aware of your camp counselor here, just begin to speak. And just in your mind or out loud, if you can, in your space, just say, you know, what I'm really excited about receiving at camp is, or what I really want, or what I need from you. Just begin to speak to your camp counselor right now. Just asking what I'm looking forward to what I want, what I need. In your head or out loud, just allowing yourself And then, then speaking to your camp counselor, what I'm, what I fear the most right now, what's scaring me the most that I want you to know about is. What scares me the most that I want you to know about is. And and then speaking out loud how I would like you to support me this week. How I would like you to support me. What I need from you. And just listen and speak out loud 
or in your head, whatever that is. And then if there's anything else that you're aware of right now that wants to be spoken, go ahead and speak it. And then just speaking or being aware of how it feels to be able to say all this out loud, how it feels to be able to say this, ask for this, express this, how it feels. Just noticing how that feels. Awesome. And then then just for fun, so, so stick with me here. Just as you're here, aware of your camp counselor here, now using your imagination, remembering you can't do this wrong, just with your awareness, with your awareness, moving your awareness into this image, the energy of your camp counselor and as best you can moving into that image looking through that image back at you right now and as you look through that image back at you right now once you arrive there go ahead your imagination will show you just receiving all that was expressed from you to your camp counselor as you receive it for your camp counselor, receive all that was expressed like a stream of colored energy, noticing the color and the quality and where it's entering into your body and being. And, and just notice what you notice, just receiving it, consciously receiving all that was expressed and just sensing for your camp counselor, receiving that wholly, completely receiving that. And then begin to speak for your camp counselor. Speaking back to you, so looking over at you, whether you're sensing it or seeing it, speaking back to your camp counselor. What, I mean, back to you as the camp counselor, and you can even have the camp counselor say your name out loud to start this. What I heard from you, what I received from you is. What I heard from you, what I received from you is. What I heard from you, what I received from you is. And then as you're here, standing in the energy of your camp counselor, you become aware of more. And then you, you become aware of what your camp counselor is here to provide you, to support you in, to make you aware of. And then speaking from the camp counselor, just speaking what I see for you that I'm not sure you see for you or what the possibility I see for you this week is. The possibility I see for you this week is.
and then how it feels to be here supporting you how it feels to be here at love camp to support you this week to play with you to elevate you how all that feels and just noticing how it feels trusting what you receive allowing what you receive And now moving your awareness from the image of the camp counselor back to you. And as you arrive back into you, looking back at the camp counselor, at your camp counselor, looking back, just begin to receive all that was expressed like a stream of colored energy noticing the quality the color the energy and where it's coming into your body into your being in or around and just allow yourself to sense it receive it as best you can receiving all that was expressed and then when you feel like that's just soaking in moving throughout your whole body and being speaking back to your camp counselor speaking back saying what i received from you what i heard from you is what i received from you what i heard from you is And playing with this one, what I'm aware of now that I wasn't aware of before, or what I'm excited about now that I, I didn't even know was possible before, what I'm aware of now that I wasn't aware of before, what's possible for me at camp is. Just sensing, receiving, allowing, can't do this wrong. Wow, what is po what's possible that I wasn't aware of before? And then finally, how it feels to know all this now, how it feels to know this, how it feels to have your support. I'm just noticing how that feels, how it feels to be aware of having this support throughout the week, how it feels to know a possibility or sense, even if you don't know exactly what it is, to just sense something beyond this reality that is available for you this week. Just noticing how your body feels in the awareness of that. And as you notice that and sense that, just noticing this possibility expanding and growing, noticing your body and being as it naturally expands in the space of support, in the space of Ah, I don't have to figure it out all by myself. I have support. And then just allowing that to continue to move on autopilot, expanding, growing, expanding your awareness, knowing that you will continue to receive this throughout the day, throughout the evening while you're sleeping, your dreams may even give you ideas about what more is possible for you that you didn't think was possible. How feeling the anticipation, how good it feels to know that 
wow, there's more? And knowing that you have a full permission, in fact, you're invited to ask for more for yourself this week, more than you've ever asked for before. Feeling the gratitude of having your camp counselor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, counselor, for being here and, and just taking a couple breaths as you, your body begins to bring you back into your space. So this is the beginning of your camp experience. I'm so excited for all that's here for you. When you come back into the room, your body's ready. Your eyes will just pop open when, when it's ready. And anyone who would like to share is welcome to share before we close. Tara, I saw your hand pop up. Do you want to share? Sure. Unmute yourself. My camp counselor was a beautiful black unicorn with gold hair and she showered rainbow energy on me. It was so wonderful. Thank you. Oh, how exciting. Good. So if she would like to take a visit to the, the unicorn barn at camp ever, she just know if she's, if she's not around for a second, it's because we just ordered um, cases of Skittles for the barn. And they'll be chomping away over there. So she'll be right back with you at any time. Just say giddy up and she'll show up. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Who else wants to share? And you don't have to, but it's kind of fun. Oh, Amber, go ahead. Aloha. Aloha. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite things about camp because. It's that, that energy that's always there, but usually we're so in our heads and in our busyness and in our to-do lists and in all the rest of it that we're not making that connection. And I remembered the camp counselor being my absolute favorite part of last year's camp. And there were so many highlight moments, like all of them, but... <laughs> But this was deep because it's that sense of, you no, know, you aren't alone. There is this energy that, that's within you and everywhere and loves you unconditionally and is there for your support and your guidance. And it, it literally brings tears to my eyes. Yeah. It's that beautiful to remember to allow ourselves to be held. And yeah. so... Thank you for this experience. It's oh, so beautiful. So I love my camp counselor and um, really want to make a commitment even after camp to really keep that relationship alive more this year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. Thank you for saying all that. That's so awesome. And I'm curious, did your camp counselor, is, it this, is she similar to last year, the same or different? Yes, yes, very much the same. And thankfully not salty that I didn't um, really feed the relationship as much as I had planned to. Um, and I'm so grateful they're not petty. <laughs> you know, the spirit's not petty. It's people. <laughs> yes. And so um, the, also the knowing that she's been with me all that time and still cheering me and holding me. I wasn't expected, you know, to do anything but be. And yeah. that's such, such a beautiful, receptive, loving space. And to, um, yeah, to acknowledge all the growth that has happened in me in a year that I haven't seen necessarily. So this is like, oh my bud. I mean Oh, I love that. That is a really oh great God. way to use, use <laughs> the camp counselor too is like how we how much can we acknowledge for ourselves for the past year. So many times we think, well, nothing really happened, but 
I bet if you, you know, reviewed with your camp counselor, mm -hmm. your experience, like you just shared, and then this is for everybody, like, you know, what, what can you acknowledge that you already created in this past year that isn't being acknowledged that if you were to acknowledge it would just already open up some space, open up um, more receiving for you. Yes. And not to you, you, that, but all of you, all of us. Yeah. It's and really magical. Open to being supported and loved because it's there. And yeah. that's, that's been such a great gift. Macy, I, this is such a fabulous thing that you're doing. Um, it was a game changer for me last year. I was oh, very so out of a good place and isolated on this mountain on Maui and, it really changed my life. And the camp counselor, um, yeah, my new bestie. <laughs> That's so awesome. So but great. Thank you, thank you for this. You're welcome. And for of the course. reminder that we're lovingly supported and unstoppable. And it is magic and it's always there. It's just if we're paying attention. So I yeah. love you. Thank you so much. Love you too. I'm so happy you're here. It's so great. Yeah, it's great to be so here. Awesome. So I'm curious if there's anyone, um, and if there's anyone who um, was feeling like, wait a minute, I didn't see my, I didn't meet my camp counselor or it didn't happen or something like that. Definitely reach out and just know too, um, whether you have like a single camp counselor or, or you feel like, wait, nothing really showed up, then be aware that that space of nothingness still has a consciousness. So still has something to it. So, you know, sometimes people feel like, oh, I did it wrong or it didn't happen. Well, that is a space. So be aware of that. And the other thing is we always have our circle of guardians with us at all times. So sometimes it doesn't show up as like a single thing. Um, and the other aspect is the intention that's already set for camp is that if for some reason your camp counselor isn't available right now in this moment, that as soon as you need it, she, it, he will just appear. So that, that's the other thing. And the other aspect, there's so many aspects, <laughs> is that um, it may even evolve. You know, you may have a bunch of different camp counselors. So just be open to all of it. Because like I said, you absolutely can't do this wrong. And I'm here for you. So if you want, um, if you have any questions about it, reach out to me. Um, is there anyone else who wants to share at all about that just unmute yourself i think betsy might be yes there she is i didn't realize it was on mute thank you thank you thank you for that sure wonderful guided meditation um that's it was my meditation for the morning thank you you're welcome and um it's interesting what you just said. My camp counselor kept changing. Uh -huh. The more you let it, my camp counselor kept changing. And I had to laugh when Tara said hers was a, a unicorn. Because my, my final camp counselor uh -huh. was this snorting, dancing, beautiful sparkly unicorn and when you were talking about the the breathing um there was part of the medit part of the process where you said breathe it in and, and feel it yes and it was like my unicorn was snorting these beautiful but it wasn't like a mean snort it was just like a whooshing kind of snort and it came out in these spike with these rainbow spirals of air Mm. And it just was like this misty cloud that embraced me. How did and that it feel? Just, it, well, I've got goosebumps even just describing it. 
it, it, it was absolutely wonderful. Yeah. But there were a whole there were a whole lot of people in this group that were counselors for a minute and counselors for a minute. Okay, and counselors awesome. For yeah. a minute. And thank you. Yeah, I'm so glad you're saying that. Was, that. that was wonderful. So good. And this, this process is, it is called Regenerating Images and Memory. It's called, group. it's a group version of this. When I work privately with clients, we do one-on-one, -on -one, which is more like, as we're going, I actually hear what's happening for you at the same time. So you can go into really amazing transformations that way. But we're going to be this, doing a lot of practices like this. Will this be available as a recording? Yes, it will. Yep. Oh, good, because I would love to do it again. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I definitely, we have, a, we have a lot of people at camp and not everyone can come to these live things. So I definitely will have the recording available and you'll get an email and I'll probably post it in the group. Um, so thank you so much for sharing, Betsy. That was great. Thank you. That was amazing. So, okay. Anyone else? Last call for sharing on that. I can't see all the things, so I don't know if anyone's unmuting or not. Um, okay. I think we're good there. All right. Well, um, so I'd like to close our our opening ceremony, our intro to camp with our worthiness pledge. Um, so let's let's join together to do that one more time. Um, so, and actually, let's, I think we should also sing the camp song one more time. <laughs> um, so let's, let's have a seat, bringing our hand up into the W and then bringing that W and really feeling the feeling of like claiming I am worthy right there, bringing it to your heart and then putting your hand on top of that. And then the words are, I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. So out loud, whisper, silent, whisper out loud. So let's do this together and begin. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. Silent. Whisper. I am worthy of love. I choose love now. Out loud. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. Feel it, receive it, allow it, allow this pledge to move throughout your body and being, experiencing that you just being you is all the worthiness you need. And your person, your beloved, is looking for this. It's not about your title. It's not about you doing more. It's not about you proving. It's just you being you. Mm. Okay, so let's, let's just join together. And putting one, your right hand on your heart, and your left hand on the heart, the back of the heart of the sister next to you. So we're gonna make a whole big camp, all camp circle right now. Just really feeling that connection, feeling all of us together as we begin this year's camp. And singing out loud together love camp where we find our beauty when we know we're worthy when we know we're worthy that's when we attract that's when we attract true love is always within us i know when i trust it it's my destiny 
my destiny one more time love camp where we find our beauty when we know we're worthy that's when we attract true love is always within us i know when i trust it it's my destiny my destiny yay so just for fun everyone come off mute and just say goodbye so we can all hear each other's voices in the circle <laughs> goodbye Bye. 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 see you Bye. at camp tomorrow there's so much fun what time tomorrow so it'll be in your mailbox likely around eight-ish mountain time somewhere in there it's not live so you'll just get it when you get it in your mailbox and um yeah click on that and receive and we'll see you in the group uh -huh. if you're not thank in the group you. you join the group thank you everyone thank you bye Diana. Bye. Bye. bye emily bye thank annette you. bye emma bye everyone Let's go. bye gail bye bye Sophie. bye Tom. bye Amber. bye betsy bye. Yay. see everyone